Welcome back. The first of the four PGA majors kicked off today as the Masters have begun down at Augusta. Life on the tour, though, isn't all fame and fortune. It can also be difficult at times, and we have the chance to catch up with a few players that through it all make sure God remains at the center of their lives. Most people don't think of the game of golf as being a grind. But then again, most people aren't playing it professionally. With a schedule that fills 11 months out of the year in constant travel, playing on the PGA Tour comes with a price. The hardest part about uh, my job is being away you know, from home on Sundays, missing church, and um, some weeks the family doesn't travel, so that's really hard. You spend more time working than you do just about any other doing anything else. I spend more time with my caddy than I do my wife. With much of their time being dominated by the daily grind of the profession, believers on the tour have to fight to keep their faith at the forefront of their lives. You have to make it a priority. I mean, it's definitely something that if it's uh, not thought about daily, you know, it can kind of get lost in the fray. And to keep that from happening, these athletes known for playing an individual sport work together as a team. God's definitely designed us that we need community. You know, we need um, we need encouragement. We need brothers to um, just do life with. And uh, fortunately, we have that out here. We have a, a study on Tuesday nights, um, and that kind of serves as our you know time of fellowship for the week, which is really big for us in the midst of you know a lot of corporate uh, opportunities and responsibilities and all that. Um, it's it's a nice hour to kind of break down for the week and give us all perspective on why we're here and all that. The tour study is great. I mean, uh, all my really, really, really good friends out here are from there, and, and they do a really good job as far as keeping us accountable and kind of asking the tough questions that, you know, no one else really asks. It's important to have, you know, like-minded guys around you who are going to, you know, keep pointing you towards Christ. From the outside, most people base the worth of these players simply on how few shots it takes them to get the ball in the hole. But inside this tight-knit group, they see their position on tour as a vehicle to introduce people to God. God's given every one of us a, a, a different platform, you know, some, some larger than others. Uh, I try to use that platform uh, as well as I can, and um, I'm humbled that God would, you know, let me in on his work um, out here on the PJ Tour. They may hit golf balls for a living, but it's who they're living for that means the most to this group of PGA pros. The cool thing about our job is, you know, we get to go glorify God by playing golf and trying to play golf well and win golf tournaments. And, and uh, you know, I think God desires us to do that well, just as he does, you know, open up his word and, and trying to go deep with him.